Every year, the International Day of Persons with Disabilities is marked on the 3rd of December. The day is observed to promote the rights and well-being of people with disabilities at every level of society and development. It also aims to raise awareness of the situations of persons with disabilities in all aspects of political, social, economic and cultural life. According to the World Health Organization, more than 1 billion people experience disability, and this figure is predicted to rise due in part to population aging and an increase in the prevalence of non-communicable diseases. Joining me to further discuss this issue at the News at 7 is the founder of Cerebral Policy Center, Nonye Nweke. Thank you for joining us on TVC News at 7. Well, it's the day for people living with uh, disabilities. What would you say about uh, the level of uh, knowledge about this day and uh, the general reception for persons living with one form of disability or the other? Thank you very much. And to say that the awareness is not high, you know, the same with respect. I want to say that there is an increased awareness of, um, of disability. But awareness is, is one thing, but after awareness, what else? So there is an increased awareness. People are aware, particularly with the social media, there is the hype, is there, let me put it that way. But what exactly do we do with the knowledge, with the fact that we are aware that uh, disability is there? I don't think so much is being done. All right. So what would you advocate? Because this year now, the theme is um, how to uh, leadership and participation of persons with disabilities towards an inclusive, accessible and sustainable post-COVID-19 world. Uh, uh, definitely the impact of the pandemic is is greatly felt by persons uh, with disabilities. So what would you really advocate as uh, we move forward? Yes, the pandemic has further deepened the, the gap, you know, that existed between the people with disability and, will I say, um, available, um, you know, available uh, things to help them. For instance, people in the sector I work with, talking about people with cerebral palsy, that need to go out to uh, for their parents or for their caregivers to take them to the hospitals. You can see that that has reduced a lot because uh, uh, the access to going to the hospital, mm. not many people can go to the hospital now. Indeed. So what do I ask is that the government should establish more management centers, let me call it treatment centers, for people with disability, and then provide the employment, a gainful employment for people who are disabled. Because without being employed, you can't come to manage to you know management position or leadership position. You have to be employed, learn about the, stop, the about the job before you get to that level of management. So opportunities need to be created for them. I don't think there is much there is so much opportunities available for them. Right. But one would have expected that with the signing of uh, that act that uh, prohibits. Uh, uh, victimization of persons with uh, disabilities that there should be great improvement in the society for instance have buildings put into consideration that uh, you know there are certain people with special needs who would need to access such structures uh, wh wh what would you say has to be done to uh, ensure that we do not just pass these laws but we actually are able to enforce them you see one thing is passing a law another thing is implementation who implements those laws? It's there everywhere. You go to the bank, and right across the road, you walk into the bank. People with disability don't have access to, to go to the bank. And these are public institutions. The government is not doing anything. Who will implement it? Is the government? Is not the uh, people who promulgated the laws? So there is no implementation, just paper. It's okay. They say they sign all this in place. Does it really work? It doesn't work in the true sense of it. And how many people who are who use wheelchair can access uh, public transportation? It's just paper. It's just paperwork. Mm -hmm. So I think that a lot has to be done. Whoever that it is that is, uh, that has to ensure that this this thing is done needs to do that. But right now, 
we all know that it's just there for paper, just on the paper, nothing is being done. So there has to be a translation from paperwork to actual reality where we'll have uh, persons living with disabilities enjoy as much as uh, persons uh, who do not have any of those needs. And as the UN has said, people with disabilities are the greatest untapped resource on the planet. And we cannot afford to just allow these resources just go that way. I'm sincerely appreciate you for joining us on TVC News at 7. Noye Nweke, founder of Cerebral Pulse Center. Thank you again. Thank you very much.